Hello everyone. How's it going? I am Crandor. Wow, Crandor. Crandor on Twitch. And uh, I am playing Magic Duels today. Uh, this is a game that is out on the Apple Store uh, for mobile. And you can go get it. And it is soon to be released on Steam. Uh, I don't know when, but it'll be on Steam soon. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is Magic's new game. I guess this is going to be kind of like a simplified thing for newer people. Reconnect. Do I have to reconnect? Retry. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a simplified Magic for newer people. Or, I don't know. I haven't, like, super played it yet. I thought I'd, like, try it out. Alright, story mode. Maybe you can't go online since it's not out on Steam yet. That's possible. Uh, so we'll find out. Spooty75 just subscribed. Thanks, Spooty. Swag. <laughs> uh, let's begin. The story mode. So, I'm learning as I go along as well. Skill quests, the basics. Learn the basics of magic to prepare you for the adventures ahead and unlock story mode where you can uncover the origins of powerful planeswalkers. Uh, play skill quest. I will earn zero gold. Alright. <laughs> Your training begins. Learn the basics of magic duels and these fun and rewarding skill quests. I used to play uh, magic online. I haven't played it for a while though. I used to play it like a few years ago. So I'm not a complete magic noob. However, I uh, haven't played it in a long time. So I could use a refresher. All right. So you start with 20. I remember that. Welcome to Magic Duels. Thank you. You are a planeswalker. Right. A powerful mage dueling across the myriad worlds of the multiverse. I do know there's the the planeswalker magic things on uh, on Steam. I never actually played those either. I always just played Magic Online and threw money at it. Uh, but we'll see. Here we go. Continue. Your story starts with these skill quests. Challenges designed to hone your skills and prepare you for combat. Alright. If you'd like to replay a skill quest, you can do so from the help and right. the options. Each player starts with a shuffled deck of cards. That is my shuffled deck of cards. Your library contains the creatures and other spells you'll need to defeat your foe. All right. Each so I'm turn, playing white. You draw All right. From your library I know that. Draw a card. Win the game by reducing your kill the person. Zoom in on any card by moving the cursor over it and scrolling the mouse wheel while zoomed in. Hot dog. You can learn more about its abilities in the more info box on the right. Zoom out. Destroy a target creature the before power down power can't to complete regenerate. this skill quest. I feel like they should have gotten me to read the things. While zoomed in on a card, you can learn more about its abilities in the more info box on the right. Zoom out by scrolling the mouse wheel down to complete this skill quest. Good job. You, you can did zoom it. in on cards anywhere to learn more about them. Awesome! <laughs> Alright. Uh, so I get to... Am I playing now? Let's see if we can play now. In this skill quest, you'll learn how to attack with your creatures to All reduce right. your opponent's life total. A creature deals damage equal to its power. Yes. The first number in the lower right corner. When a creature attacks, it becomes tapped or turn sideways. This yes. shows it's been used for the turn. Your tap There's cards turn. will untap. Yeah. All right, I remember that. It's coming turn. back now. It's like riding a to bike. To complete this skill quest, finish off your opponent. All right. For each creature you want to attack with, click and drag it to your opponent. You can attack all right. with all your creatures by clicking attack with all. Wow. After you've chosen which creatures to attack with, click confirm attack. All right, click confirm attack after I'm like, yeah, I want to attack. All right, so let's see. Do I click on that? Oh, that's what I do. I click over here. All right, confirm attack. He conveniently has four health, and I have four damage. Excellent. Bam. Take that, robot with lack of emotion. Excellent. Attacking with your creatures is one of the surest ways to win. Whoa. In the next skill quest, you'll learn how to defend yourself from your opponent's attacks. Awesome defense. The best defense is a strong offense. Or wait, 
other way around. Actually, you know, it's, I think it's better to just have both. Creatures can block your opponent's attacking creatures. A blocked right. creature won't deal damage to you. Instead, it will deal damage to the creature that blocked it, and your creature will deal damage to the attacking creature. All right. A creature is destroyed if it's dealt damage in a single turn equal to its toughness, the second number in the lower right corner. All right, so, I mean, I do remember this. So is it, there's your toughness, that's your defense. So he's got two, one, and he's got six, so he takes five. So wait, is it, you can use any creature to absorb an attack, right? So hold on, let me read the block creature. I'm just gonna read it, my thing. A blocked creature won't deal damage to you. Instead, it will deal damage to the creature that blocked it. And your creature will deal damage to the attacking creature. A creature is destroyed if it's dealt damage in a single turn equal to its toughness. The second number in the lower right corner. To complete this skill quest, survive your opponent's right. turn. Alright, so what is this? This is a fire elemental. 5-4. Uh, let's see. So you can just right click to get zoomed in. Alright, so he's attacking me with the Elvish Warrior. Alright. And there's his land. Great job. By blocking the more Whoa. dangerous creature, you survived the assault. Now it's your turn. First, play the land card you just drew. Playing more lands allows you to cast... Right. I know about lane cards. Now attack and win the game. All right. So I can attack. Confirm attack. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know what I did with the with the blocking thing. But that's all right. I'll figure it out eventually. Excellent. Remember, Excellent. only untapped creatures can block. Now that you've seen creatures attacking and Spy blocking... Spy Dad had a sub of the mud of the battlefield. Boom, 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 boom. Opponent's turn, main. To cast a spell, you need mana, the magical yes. energy produced by your lands. Each of your lands produces one mana when it taps or turns sideways. Tapping shows a card's been used for the turn. Mm -hmm. To see a spell's mana cost, look in the top right corner. All right. Of yeah, the card. I remember. I remember this part. To cast you just tap your mana. You need one red mana. Your mountain produces that. You also need three yeah, other mana of any kind. Any lands can be tapped to reduce these three mana if you cast a creature. To uh, this three mana. After you cast a creature spell, that creature goes right. to the creatures can't attack on the turn they're summoned. This is called Yeah, my creature was tapped, so I couldn't block with it. I was wondering that too. I was like, wait, what? A creature with summoning uh, sickness can still block incoming attacks. Mm -hmm. A few creatures have an ability called haste. Creatures with haste aren't affected by summoning sickness. All right. So again, creatures can't attack on the turn they are summoned. This is called summoning sickness. And it's indicated by a swirling effect. A creature with summoning sickness can still block incoming attacks. A few creatures have an ability called haste. Creatures with haste aren't affected by summoning sickness. In this skill quest, we'll start on your opponent's turn. To complete it, Win the game on your next turn. All right, in this skill quest, we'll start your post turn. Clear when the game on your next turn. All right, Elvish Warrior, he's throwing one down. However, what is this? So he's got a two, three. He's just got a bunch of Elvish Warriors out there. Your Elvish Warrior can't block this turn because it's tapped. Right. The creature your opponent just summoned can't attack this turn, but it right. will be able to. All right, so I can throw down. All right, he's doing damage to me. Oh, Scarlet resub five months in a row. Thanks, Scarlet. One, two, three, four, five. Swag. You can summon creatures to the battlefield from your hand by casting creature spells. To cast a spell in your hand, click on it. All right, I can indeed. So I guess I'll play Haste Man. Haste Man. And it taps my mana for me. Yes, we learned this. 
All right, attack phase. So he can only block with one. So, uh, I mean, uh, I guess I could click to attack with all. And show me things. I know what I'm doing now. Confirm attack. All right. So he's dead. Victory. Well done. All your tapped cards, including lands and creatures, will untap at the start of your next. Awesome. For completing the skill quest, you've earned some coins. Quest, you've earned some coins. After you finish Gideon's campaign, you can spend coins in the store to purchase booster packs containing new cards. Excellent. All right, so. We got a bunch of people here. We got Gideon Jura. Before you took the name Gideon Jura, you were Kaithian Laura, a 13-year-old kid from the slums of Akros on the plain of Theros. You possess a strong sense of justice. Your magic makes you resilient to physical harm. This combination leads you to speak with more actions than with words. And then there's some other people that I do not know yet. Excellent. You lead a small group of street toughs known as Kaithian's Irregulars. Together you act as a force for justice and a charity in the slums. While raiding a Necroan state for food, you draw the attention of the city guards. Start the duel. All right. That guy's so happy, he's like, yeah, I found the coin. I found it. And he's like, yo, dude, I found the coin, give me some of the coins. <laughs> They're just shocked that someone found with bread. This guy's like, you're taking my bread. And they look way too evil for the scene. They're just like, yes, I have stabbed the table. First duel. Welcome to your first magic duel. Apply what you have learned in this skill class to defeat your opponent. Your turn. Helpful advice. I don't need advice. I know how to play magic. Continue. Oh, wait. <laughs> Alright, maybe I need advice. Oh, yeah, I can play an elite vanguard. Alright, never mind. I take back what I said. I don't know what I'm doing. This card's been around a long time. I remember playing with this card, too. Back when I played Magic the Gathering. Uh, we get. What is this? Oresco Swift Claw. Alright. So you can play one mana per turn, right? Yeah, you can only play one mana per turn. Uh, we can also play Human Soldier. It's a 2 2, so I guess we'll play him. And I can attack as well, correct? Summoning Sickness. You can't attack a creature if you cast it this turn. You can attack with any creatures. Da -ba -da -ba -do. Yeah, so we'll attack. Confirm attack. Did Crendor get a better graphics card yet? Yes, I did. I have a 980 now. Alright. What do you got? More planes? Glory Seeker. Alright. So you put that down. You can block with it though, correct? I'm pretty sure, yeah, he can block this. Play another planes. Uh, three one cat warrior, two two soldier. Set. So I could play the glory. I could play the cat. So uh, the cat warrior and an elite vanguard, right? Right. So let's put that down. And uh, I guess we'll attack with the boat. A 980 or a 980 Ti? Which what? What's the difference? I mean, I got whatever one is better. <laughs> Whichever one was better and cost more out of the two is the one I got. All right, traveling philosopher two two. All right. Mm 
<laughs> Valiant Guard, zero three. Your turn. Creatures with flying can't be blocked except by creatures with flying or reach. Play skill quests. Oh wait. Alright, what happens if I hit that? Oh, I guess it's gonna give me a tutorial thing on it. Right? Some creatures have flying, which lets them soar above the battlefield. Soar! Flying creatures can be blocked only by other flying creatures or by creatures with reach. On defense, a creature with flying can block any attacking creature, either one with flying or one without. All right. Creature cards have icons on the left side that indicate special abilities like flying. Complete this skill quest by surviving your opponent's assault and winning on your next turn. All right, I can do that. So, uh... I have a bird. He can fly. So he's attacking with his elite vanguard. Block step. Uh, I guess we'll block with... 2-3. Elvish, Elvish warrior, you can block. Confirm! Bam! Alright, so he's down to 2-1 from blocking. Growing planes, my turn. We get a force. And then attack. Confirm attack. Great work. Good job. White and blue decks often use flying creatures for an aerial assault that's hard to block. Nice. All right. I remember that. I remember uh, white and blue was like flying and stuff. I played a... Uh, what did I play? I played a black deck. I liked black. Black like my soul. Uh, all right. Let's play... What is this? Eagle Watch flying. 2-1. This creature can't be blocked. Vigilance attacking doesn't cause this creature to tap. Ooh, that's nice. I think I'll just play everything. No, I still need one more mana to play him. Yes, I know that. I learned. I learned game. Attack step. Uh, let's just attack with everybody. Ka-ching! Ka-ching! All right. All right. So we got another cat guy and a glory seeker. Let's play them all now. Hold on. Players still activate their abilities. All right. Tag step. Tag with everybody again. Confirm. Hit a mug. And we'll slash him down to one. All right. Planes. What do we got? Glory Seeker, 2-2. Two, two. Alright, so he's playing that. And another Eagle of the Watch. Play that. And now attack phase. We can just go all out again. Everybody attack. I think I should be able to win with this. Is this a mobile game? It is uh, out on mobile right now, and it is going to be coming to Steam soon. Uh -huh. ah. How 
However, if you do want to play it early, you can just go play actual Magic the Gathering. Because it is Magic the Gathering. Alright. Planes. I'm going to win next turn, so I don't think he can block my flying, so... Glory Seeker! There you go, I had Moobot link the link. So, if you are uh, an iPhone or iPad person, the link is there. Uh, he doesn't have any reach, does he? No. Alright, so I'm just going to attack with my birds and then we win. And other birds. Bam! We win! Victory! Reduce your opponent's life total to 10 or less before your fifth turn. Starting on your third turn, attacked every turn until you won. Deck upgraded. Nice. Alright. Uh. Please, my. Oh, wait, do I not. I did it, though, right? Is it because I'm not online? Can I not do that? <laughs> Cause I should have moved on, right? Yeah, I already won that. All right. Can see duel. I'm gonna get back. All right. Can I reconnect? Retry. Let's see. Uh, oh, it did connect this time. Sweet. Okay. So. Oh, but I did the things! Battle mode. Battle online or solo battle with your own decks. Uh, should I keep playing story mode? I can battle online. I don't really want- I don't want to battle online, though. <laughs> Alright. I guess I can do this again. Just because, uh, I want the gold to buy cards with. Alright, don't worry. I can speed through it. I'll speed through you, game. Rendor versus Training Drone. Continue. My turn. Welcome to Thanks. Magic Duel. Continue. Your story Great. Starts with Continue. Each starts Shuffled. With shuffle. each turn. Boom. All oh, right. Draw cards, nice. Draw game. cards. I love doing that. Continue. Wow. That's a zoom, zoom in. in Unbelievable. Continue. I did it. Boop. 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 Unbelievable, quest, we attack. Alright, I can do that. Attack. Boom, boom, confirm play. attack. Nice, you're doing it. Bang. Bang. Alright. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. Good job. Unbelievable. Skill. Charisma. Power. Your untapped creatures can block nice. your opponent to That's complete this true. skill quest. All right. Untapped? I can block with you, guy. Oh, the Goblin Piker. I remember him. I remember playing with him. To block an incoming attack, click and drag one of your creatures to the attacking creature uh -huh. you want to block. Confirm the block. So we'll take two damage from him. And then the six will kill us. However, he does not hit me. And more forest is placed down. Great job. Great job. Go thing. Attack. Now attack and Aha. win the game. And win the game. Here we go. Excellent. Excellent. Remember. Only un I know. All right, so sped through that. To cast 
cast a spell, you need uh, mana cast to cast lightning elemental. All right. Creatures can't attack nice. on the turn. I did this They're already. In this skill quest. Awesome. We'll start. All right, Elvish Warrior. Here's the Elvish Warrior just down. Da, 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 da. Your Elvish Warrior oh, can't Oh, man. Damage. All right, take two damage. Take two more damage. And... My you can turn. summon creatures to the battlefield from... I can indeed. Go lightning elemental. Haste. I know about haste. Zoom. And attack. <laughs> well done. We did it. There we go. After playing skill quest, you've earned For some completing coins. This skill awesome. You got 30 store coins. Uh, and I guess I will do this. Let's see. In the store, you can claim booster packs, add to your base collection, complete Gideon's campaign, learn basics, and then visit the store. All right. I did it already, but I'll do it again. Because I believe. Plus 10 coins for that. 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. Start the duel. I can win this one easy, too. It pretty much like sets you up to win as long as you don't do anything stupid. You're playing on your iPad, but it wouldn't let you go online. It wouldn't let me go online for a, a little bit either. It may have just been down or something, but it's back online for me now. Welcome to your first magic duel. Apply what you have learned in the skill quest to defeat your opponent. Stupid Akron guards. Got in my way. Your turn. Alright, so throw that down. Oh, Vanguard. Yes. Excellent. I used to play uh, Magic Drafts a lot in the Magic Online game. That's really like all I would play is I would just play Magic Drafts. It's sort of super addicting. Uh, let's play, let's play the, this guy. He's got three damage. And he doesn't have anything to block with yet. Dude, Magic Drafts are so addicting. So you would just be like, oh, I play, and then you get some more booster packs and stuff. You're like, well, I can just do another draft. And you get, like, some good cards out of it. And you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to win. And then you would just sell those cards afterwards to get more stuff to buy more drafts. Oh, my God. That was cray. Yeah, the one big downside of Magic Online is the UI was pretty bad. Like, you kind of just had to do everything yourself and, like... The only reason I knew a lot about it is because my friend was already playing it, so he was like, I'll teach you about it. And then once you learn it, it's like, alright. But, yeah, definitely not the greatest UI. And, Vanguard. Attack! Okay, he'll probably block the cat attack and then get killed. So that's fine. <laughs> Traveling philosopher. Valiant Guard. Alright. My turn. We get the Flight Bird. Let's put mana down. Uh, let's bring the bird out. Bring the bird out. Alright. Let's attack with both of them. Uh, all of them. I have three I can attack with. Do, 
There we are. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Bugar, if you do uh, the command for what you're doing now, but do command magic, I think it'll put the little uh, pop-up thing where it's like, magic is available on the app store, so you can do that if you want, if people want to go get it. Uh, glory Seeker. There we go, now we got all our things on board. Attack, attack. Attack. Here we are. No block one. And the valiant god is down to one. It is out on iOS. It will be out on Steam in the near future. But pretty soon, probably. Uh, Glory Seeker. The end. Alright, my turn. We got another bird. Send him out. And this is pretty much where we just win. Oh yeah, you just hit attack with all, right? Attack with all. Confirm. Probably gonna get him down to like two health. And he'll block. Okay, he's gonna block that. And block that. Alright, so we'll win next turn. Alright, more planes. And he'll attack. My turn. Go, Glory Seeker. And attack with all. I guess I'll, I'll attack the birds. Because that's an automatic victory. He's going to block it. And we win. Victory! Ten coins! Kythia. Continue. Deck upgraded. Okay, right, so now you get 20 coins from the next guy. Or we can go to the store. Let's see the store. We got starter box for free. I'll take a free starter box. You can use these cards to create a wide variety of decks and explore a number of different playstyles. How much is a booster pack? Get coins. Boosters are 1 is 150 coins, 2 300, 8. So is it just 150? 150 times 250. I think so. Is that 3, 6, 9, uh, 12. Okay, yeah. So it just depends. There's no like discount for getting more, it's just uh, you're able to buy stacks. Stacks! I want to get a booster pack. All right. 20 coins. Oh yeah, I should have looked at how much coins are. I'll do that after this one. I shall do that after this one. All right. My turn. A turn in magic is broken into several phases. Main attack, block, damage, main, At the main, start of end, your turn, nice. you'll, you've already seen the combat phase. I when have. Creatures attack, this skill quest starts in your first main phase. A dark slick drake stands between your elvish warrior and victory. Find a way to attack and win this turn. All right. So I gotta find a way to attack and win. I'll play water. Then I got two green and a blue. Now that you've cleared a path, Attack with your elvish warrior to finish off your opponent. Alright. 
A turn in magic Wait, is broken what? into you've already seen the combat phase. Wait, what? This skill quest starts in your What are what just happened? <laughs> I thought I, I thought I did stuff and then All right. Now that you've cleared a path, attack with your elvish warrior to finish I don't have an elvish warrior. Magic is broken What's going on? That phase. <laughs> this skill quest starts in your Uh yeah, I think this is just a bug. Alright, let's quit the skill quest. That's definitely a bug. Alright, let's back out of that. And then... Oh, good. Now we can just fight him. Nice. And... Hold on. Vanguard. Good. On to the main event. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. He's playing red. We got planes. Let's bring out Catman Jones. Attack. There we go. Alright, nice. My turn. Alright, I'll play planes. Should I play another cat man? Oh yeah, let's play bird. Bird's a better option here. Alright. Yeah. Attack step. Attack with both of them. There we go. All right. Uh, continue. He's playing a bird. Your turn. Instant cards be cast any time. After you get an instant, it has an effect on the game and is put into the graveyard. Alright. What is this? Creatures you control get 1-1 one, one until the end of your turn. Costs 2 mana. So if I wanted, I could play that, but the bird would still die, so it's kind of useless. For uh, right now. If we want to play another Catman Jones, I'd say so. And, uh, let's attack with that, both of those. Alright. Alright. Nice. Glory Seeker. And traveling philosopher. Alright, so I need more mana, I only have three things. Got yeah, two, two, three, one. Play another bird. Yeah, let's play another bird. Just gonna keep attacking with all. Attack! go and then I get blocked but we take it out <laughs> here comes his attack and he will not attack my turn mana yeah nice so now I can actually play glory seeker can I play the other glory seeker too I can nice Attack with all. Oh. 
bird hit him. He's down to 10. And that gets traded. And now, uh, what's that? So he's going to play more planes. So I got 2, 4, 6. I can do 9 damage if I wanted. Here's Elk. Play the Elk. Yes. Look at him. Great heart. He breathes fire. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet indeed. Attack with all. Now, what did he play? Instant lightning strikes deal three damage to a target creature or player. He's going to do it to bird. That's fine. So we'll do that. We'll do that. He's down to six. And then next turn, I can play the glorious charge and ride to victory. Traveling Glossbird. Alright, so I have two Glorious Charges, so it really wants us to play Glorious Charge. That's 3-5. I can do it again, right? So you can, get, you can be even stronger? Yeah, boy. Alright, yeah, attack with all. That's over. Gives us victory. Ah, uh, yeah. Deck of great. Look at his face. Oh, yeah, look at that magic, dude. Oh, yeah. Give me some of that magic. Four years under the guidance of Hixis has shaped you into a powerful combat mage. Hixis believes your natural talent for wielding magic belies something special about you. He suspects that, like his own mentor, you may be a planeswalker. Alright, next up we got 30 coins for beating this nerd. Once we do all these, I'm pretty sure that we get the pack. And then, oh yeah, I was gonna check. Coins. Uh, 150 coins, 2 bucks. So it's, you know, 2 bucks for a pack. Essentially, 500, 1250, 375. Da, 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 da. So it's pretty much two bucks a pack. All right, let's play against this guy. Akros has fallen under attack as harpies mercilessly swarm the city's walls. Every able body is needed. You and other prisoners are released. The city's last hope to beat back the monsters. Damn harpies! You can have multiple creatures grouped together to block a single attacking creature. Whoa. This is a good way to gang up on a larger threat. Your opponent chooses how the attacking creature deals damage to your blockers. All right. Usually, an attacking creature will deal all its damage to the creature that blocked it. But a creature with trample can deal its excess damage to the defending player. All right. Uh, oh yeah, trample. That's what that does. All right. You'll I see remembered. trample and group blocking in action in this skill quest. To complete it, block the incoming attack and. All right. All right. So we gotta block. All right. Attack step. Uh, well, I guess I could, just, I could just attack and win. Wait, what's this one? Trample. This creature could deal excess damage. I'm just gonna attack with both of them. Win the game. Right? We did it. <laughs> we win. Yeah, get wrecked, bot. You have negative seven. Great job. All right. All right, let's play it against the guy. Normally, all attacking what? and blocking creatures deal combat damage in this skill quest. All right, with I don't want to do any more skill quests. I just want to play against the guy. 
Excellent. Crazy hyena man. Go planes. Go vanguard. <laughs> oh damn, he's got the holographic woodland cemetery. Battlefield tapped unless you control swamp or forest. Add dark or green. Fancy. Planes. Catman Jones, I choose you. Go! Attack! Creature dies, tap flesh mad steed. Alright. Cards have triggered abilities. I got you. Alright, more planes. And play an eagle. Let's play the eagle. What is this thing? Sky Spear Cavalry. Double strike. This creature deals both damage. Oh, wait, it deals both first strike and regular combat damage. Uh, what is first strike damage? I remember hearing that. I don't remember exactly what it does. Attack with all. First strike means I hit first, okay. Bum, bum, bum. Gloom Widow. Reach. Gloom Widow can block only creatures with flying. So that's actually really good. Because I have flying. <laughs> Alright, let's play planes. And probably play the elk, right? The elk can't be blocked. So I don't know if I actually want to attack with the bird, because he'll just die, so I'm just going to attack with the vanguard then. <laughs> there we are. And he plays Forsaken Drifters. When Forsaken Drifter dies, put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. He is a 4 2, though. Pretty strong. Alright. No more planes. I can now play the Sky Spear Cavalry. I can also play Glory's Charge. That way, uh, I'd be able to hit. I think I'll play the, the cavalry. And then I'd play this after. Creature has double strike, deals damage twice in combat. Once when the creature once when the creatures deal first strike damage, and again when the creatures deal regular damage. It's possible for a creature to be destroyed before it can deal its combat damage. Alright. So the question is uh, do I want to attack with the thing? I'll attack with the elk. And the Vanguard, because I mean we'd we'd end up killing the Forsaken Drifters. All right, he's not even gonna attack. He's just like, what else? That's fine. Flesh Mad Steed. Whenever another creature dies, tap Flesh Mad Steed.
Blood Toll Harpy flying. When Blood Toll Harpy enters the battlefield, each player loses one life. Oh, alright. That's fine with me. He's practically almost dead. And we get a traveling philosopher. And let's get 1-1 one, one for everybody. Aw, uh, yeah. And we're just gonna attack with all. We're going ham. Here comes the intensity. Down goes the spider. Yelk hits hard. They both die. The harpy. Eagle Watch die. And then... All he's got left is that Forsaken Drifters. Does he play Farika's Mender? When Farika's Mender enters the battlefield, he may return target creature or enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. Ooh. That's really good. Bringing back the Blood Pole Harpy. However, I got an elk. The elk is strong. Is that 4 3? Can't block my flying. Uh. I just attack with all again. Alright, so he's gonna trade the. He's down to four. He's down to two. Elk and philosopher. So he's down to his final final turn pretty much. More Harpy, and now he's down to one. <laughs> so, not his greatest achievements. More planes. Um, hmm. So, this is a two one. So, it can actually block. So, I don't know if it's worth attacking here, because I think all my things would die. Uh, hmm. So I'm going to skip attack, I think, and just wait. Let's see what he does. Plains, uh, plays another planes. Plays a drifters. Oh, first strike means mine would live? Okay, never mind. I'll just win this turn then. Alright, so first strike. Attack with all. First strike and double strike. I see. I got you. Alright. Continue, and then we win. What? Oh. I thought I got to attack again. Isn't that double strike? Both first strike and regular combat damage. I guess maybe because he killed a thing. It's alright. What is this? 2-2. Two, two. Uh, block uh, the 4-2. Confirm the block. There we go. Oh, it only works on the same target. Okay. Uh, so we Eagle Watch. But it doesn't matter because we can just 
attack and win here. Deck upgraded. Bum, 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 bum. So now this guy's up next. Oh yeah, can I open my uh, thing that I got? What's it called? I guess I'll just once I complete all this, I'll open the, the starter kit and a booster pack. So let's just keep going. Cyclops approaches the main gate, and he's not alone. You and your regulars are the only ones who can stop the monsters from storming the city. Fail to defeat them, and Akros will fall. Succeed, and you'll become a hero worthy of the gods. Enchantments right. are powerful cards that stay on the battlefield after you cast them. They have a wide range of effects. Some boost your creatures while others make things more difficult for your opponent. Like most spells, you cast enchantment spells during your main phase. All right. In this skill quest, use the enchantment in your hand. All right. Go, chat them. The creatures you control get one one. Nice, well, we attack with all. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Great job. I did it. <laughs> nice. Nice. Auras are a special type of enchantment. Most attached to a single creature and affect only that creature. The enchant ability will tell you what that aura attaches to. All right. You can target any creature with most auras. Read each one to see how it affects the enchanted creature. If it has a negative effect, you can choose to attach it to one of your opponent's creatures. All if right. the enchant to complete this skill quest, find a way to win this turn. You'll need to use both positive and negative auras to get the job done. All right, I can do that. I can get this job done. Ooh, pacifism. I remember this card. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature can't attack or block. Uh, which is pretty awesome. All right. So, let's do that. That is quite a good card. And then, enchanted creature. What? Oh, wait, I died? Uh. All right. Auras are a special type okay, of enchantment. Yes. To complete this skill quest, find a way to win this turn. Wait, so can it he just kill me anyway, right? Uh. <laughs> one one. The thing. I mean, yeah, it's just like uh, uh, I don't even know. I don't like skill quests. I don't want to do skill quests. I just want to play the thing. All right. <laughs> Some cards put plus one plus one counters on creatures. A plus one plus one counter increases the creature's power and toughness by one. These counters stay on the creature as long as the creature is on the battlefield. If the creature leaves the battlefield, the counters disappear. All right. In this skill quest, your opponent is... Alright, I want to do a skill quest. Quit skill quest. Yes. There we go. Let's just play in the duel. There we go. Now we're dueling. Bop, 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 bop. 
All right, planes. Elite Vanguard. All right, so what is this one? I remember this card. It's either red or green, the Rootbound Frag. That is a really cool holographic card. I like that. My turn. Flames. Philosopher. And attack. Brush Strider. Vigilance attacking doesn't cause this creature to tap. Oh, damn. And it's 3 1. My turn. Planes. And let's see. Let's charge. Elk. I don't have enough to play the elk, but I can play the eagle. Back with all. <laughs> and that is four damage to his face. Mountain. Block step. Uh, let's see, I can block him with the eagle. And I will. Uh, now they're both dead. And Blood Rock Cyclops. Blood Rock Cyclops attacks each turn if able. 3-3. Three, three. All right. Oh, damn. Uh, let's see. More planes. Creatures you control get 1-1. One, one. White creatures you control get 1-1. One, one. So if I play this, it's going to give me 1-1 one, one for a while. Or I can just put the elk down for now. I might just put the elk down. Oh, wait, he can block, though, can he? Damn, all right. Should have played the enchantment so that I could have killed that. Uh, I might just wait a turn then. And then play the enchantment and then do damage. Mm, yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, so will attack me. I guess I can block with the elk. He won't die. All right. And he plays the one Cyclops of One-Eyed Pass, a 5-2. Oh, and Catman Jones is back. Hey, Catman. Get 1-1. One, one. All right, let's do that now. And we can also play Catman Jones. Or I can bump them all up to, is that 4-6, 4-4, four, 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 and 4-3. Four, what would that be? It's 12 damage. But I think I'll just play him for now. And attack with all. Bam. Bam. And we trade. Okay. So he's down to eight, and I'm pretty sure I can just win next turn. So he's gonna attack me. I'll take damage. At four two, it's fine. And then, what do I got? More planes, and then glorious charge. And we will win. 
packed with all. Bang. Bam. We win. And he's negative five. Take the odd wins. So now, deck upgraded. We only got one more in this story. Your heroism at the gates of Akros did not go unnoticed. Heligod of God of the Sun, or Heliod? Heliod, God of the Sun, seeks a champion to face an even greater foe. He offers you a sun-blessed blessed spear and instructs you to destroy a mighty titan who serves Erebos, God of the Dead. Oh, man. The most intense battle of them all. Uh, or I could buy a pack. Let's buy a pack. Confirm. Nice. And I can open it right now. Alright, what I get? Pythion's Tactics. Creatures you control get 2-1 until the end of the turn. Spell mastery. If there are two or more instant and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, those creatures also gain vigilance until the end of the turn. Oh, nice. Uh, Eye Blight Assassin. When Eye Blight Assassin enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls get minus one, minus one until the end of the turn. That's cool. Bonded Construct. Bonded Construct can't attack alone. Loyal to a fault, it needs its master every command. All right. Not the greatest card. Oh shit, Reclusive Artificer. Haste, this creature can attack and tap as soon as it comes under your control. When Reclusive Artif Artif Artificer enters the battlefield, you may have it deal damage to target creature equal to the number of artifacts you control. So, it is all about artifacts. That's an artifact, right? Yeah, so it's the synergy. The synergy. <laughs> Knightly Valor, enchant creature. When Knightly Valor enters the battlefield, put a 2 2 white knight creature token with vigilance onto the battlefield. Enchanted creature gets plus 2 plus 2 and has vigilance. And Chandra's Ignition. Uh, target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to each other creature and its opponent. Uh, interesting. Alright. Uh, nice! That's my card collection. Oh, whoa, so here's my, uh, like, booster thing. All right, show owned cards. How many owned cards do I have? All right, so quite a few. Enters Battlefield tapped and listed bit, but do. I think it's just all the people I play against, I get those cards as well. All right, uh... I don't know if every starter pack is the same. I think every starter pack is probably like pretty similar. Boon Weaver Giant. Server Marshal. Uh, ooh, I remember the Siege Mastodon. I always thought he was an armadillo. <laughs> da, 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 da. Dehydration. It's an untap during its control. It's untap step. Inspiration. Alright, so yeah, it's a lot of the, you know, typical magic cards. Child of the Night, I remember the Child of the Night. Who else do I remember? I don't remember that. Gravedigger, I remember Gravedigger. Rise from the Grave, I remember that. There's what to do. Um, Alright. Now you've started your very own collection. Let's put those cards to use. I don't want to put them in use yet. I want to keep story mode. We're on the final one. 50 coins. <laughs> the ground shudders and the putrid smell of rot fills your nostrils. The shadow of Erebos Titan falls across in your irregulars. You and your irregulars. You raise your spear and it radiates the light of the sun. The Titan bellows ferociously and you charge forward anyway. Aw oh, yeah. 
Planes, Vanguard. <laughs> All right, Black Swamp. And Planes, and Catman Jones. And Attack. Confirm. Wait, what? Attack with all. Confirm attack. Wait, what? What? Hold on, is it like fight or something? The fight enter. Wait. Huh? Huh? Oh, there we go. Okay, we're. I think it was just bugged for a bit. Damage. Alright. More black. Banisher Priest. When Banisher Priest enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until Banisher Priest leaves the battlefield. Alright. And Brain Maggot. When Brain Maggot enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand, and you choose a non-land card from it. Exile that card until Brain Maggot leaves the battlefield. Alright. <sighs> well, yeah, white creatures you control, you got one white. So what did he take? Oh, he took my Banisher Priest! What an asshole. Uh, that's alright. We'll play the Enchant. That's 3-2. Vanguard. Now attack that time. Asshole we'll just keep attacking him. Can I not attack creatures? Alright. Hold on. Bam, right? I guess not. Alright. Chat, tell me if I'm doing something wrong. It's alright. Do chunks of damage to him anyway. Okay, you can only attack players or playing fluffy. So the only way I'd kill that is if I blocked it, so really. Yeah, Grim Guardian. Whenever Grim Guardian or another Chapman enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent will lose one life. Alright. Let's say another Grim Guardian? Oh, okay. More planes. Attack step. Um, so, do I want to attack? I'm just going to keep attacking with all. There we go. So, really, I'm just going to keep chunking him down. Look at that. Catman Jones hitting him hard. <laughs> Land. And another Grim Guardian. So he takes one damage, right? Oh, I take one damage. Or is it each player? Hold on, is it? Each opponent. Oh, each opponent. Okay. I thought that's at each player. Never mind. Alright, so play Catman. Play another cat, man. Why not? And let's see, three, two, four, four, two. <laughs> I think I will attack with him. Just him. Oh, he's gonna block with both. All right, that's fine. <laughs>
Flag sickness. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets minus one, minus one for each swamp you control. You control four swamp. Oh, that's not good. See you later, cat man. That just killed him. My turn. More planes, finally. Alright, so what's this do? When supply line cranes enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on a target creature. Okay. Nice. And give it to the vanguard. And we'll attack. <laughs> and he will block. But with that block, he shall die. Alright. do anything. Oh wait, he'll play Doomwake Giant. Whenever Doomwake Giant or another enchantment creature enters the battlefield and you control the creatures your opponent's control, you get minus one, minus one until the end of the turn. Ugh. Okay. My turn. Uh, I think I'm just gonna play the Sky Spear Cavalry here. Oh wait, I guess that was only until the end of his turn. <laughs> so now they're both fine. Um, let's see, do we attack this turn? Sure, why not? Now he's down to four. And I have two flying, so really, next turn I can just win. Our creature gets minus four, unless he kills one of them! Uh. Diamond block cards! Diamond bomber! And then I'll do five damage to me. Ow. Planes and an eagle. Alright. So let's attack. And we'll get him down to 1 HP. Down to 1 H Pizzle. So as long as we live this turn. Never Dreadbringer, Lampheads, another kind of battlefield under control. Target creature gains an. Intimidate? Can't be blocked except by artifact creatures. Okay, that shouldn't mind. That shouldn't matter. Alright. And he'll attack. Oh man, I'm gonna block it with the I'm gonna block the brain slug. Nice. I'll get my thing back. Spanish a priest return. Alright. So now. That's how you creature your opponent controls. So we shall now banish. Which one do we want to banish? I'm banish that. He, that can, uh. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll just banish this so I can win the game. Just in case he can actually block me. Get out of here! Then we win the game. Yeah, we win. Damn it. Cutscene.
Although I may have the volume too low. Oh, well, I'll dub over it. Yeah, good job, man. I am not dead. Hmm. He isn't dead. How about now? Your puny spears do nothing to me. For I have a space whip. Oh, shit, dude. Yeah, you don't do nothing to me either. Oh, what? Oh, guys? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Guys, why, why weren't you immortal? Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Hey, wake up. What are you doing out here? This isn't, this isn't a place for people. I am... Or, uh, I am the angel. Da, 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 da. Nice. Completed Gideon's Good Pay. Three Magic Origin boosters have been awarded. Oh my god, yes. Grief stricken over the death of your comrades, your planeswalker spark ignites, sending you to Bant. You discover a realm of chivalry, and you are inspired to walk the path to knighthood. You take the name Gideon Jura, and you seek redemption. Nice open booster. What do we got? What do we got? Let's see, what was this one? Blood Cursed Knight. As long as you control an enchantment, Blood Cursed Knight gets 1-1 one, one and has lifelink. Ooh. That's really good. That's a 4-3 with lifelink. Nice. Sigil, sigiled Starfish. Uh, tap scry 1. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card on the bottom of your library. Yeah, interesting. Flame Shadow Conjuring. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay fire. If you do, put a token on your battlefield that's a copy of that creature. That token gains haste, exile it at the beginning of the next end step. Alright. Uh, I already got that last time. Majoring Bully. Prowess. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets 1-1 one, one until the end of the turn. Majoring Bully attacks each turn if able. Alright. Guardian Automaton. When Guardian Automaton dies, you gain 3 life. Oh, nice. That's cool. Next booster. Uh, Ardbug just subscribed 17 months in a row. Thank you, Ardbug. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 high fives. Bone to Ash. Counter target creature spell. Draw a card. Hey, what is that? That's an enchantment, right? Or no, an instant. Human Artificer. When Garapur Gearcrafter enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 colorless Thopter artifact creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Nice. Elvish Visionary. When Elvish Visionary enters the battlefield, draw a card. Nice early green card. Already saw that. Consul's Lieutenant. First strike. Renown 1. When this creature deals combat damage to a player, if it isn't Renown, put a 1 1 counter on it and it becomes Renown. What's that mean, Renown? Whenever Consul's Lieutenant attacks, it is Renown. Other attacking creatures you control get 1 1 until the end of the turn. When a creature with Renown deals damage to a player for the first time, it becomes Renown and gets a number 1-1 one, one counter. Some spells and abilities care about whether a creature is known. Remember that a creature can become Renown only once a creature stops being Renown if it leaves the battlefield. Alright. And finally, Herald of the Pantheon. Enchantment spells you cast cost one less to cast. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you gain one life. Oh, that's pretty good. It only costs two. That's actually really good. I like that. Herald of the Pantheon. And, uh, next booster. Come on! Bam! 
Okay, what do we got? Suppression bonds, enchantment, or, uh, enchant non-land permanent, enchanted permanent can't attack or block, and it is activated ability. And its activated abilities can't be activated. All right. Undead servant. When undead servant enters the battlefield, put a two-two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield for each card named undead servant in your graveyard. Oh, so you need a lot of those. <laughs> a crowan sergeant. First strike, this creature deals combat dead, da, 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 ba, And Renown. This creature deals combat dead. It is Renown, put a one one dead, 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 it's Renown. Alright. Conclave Naturalists. When Conclave Naturalists enters the battlefield, you may destroy target artifact or enchantment. Your sword and wards have no power here. Wait, I was <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. When Conclave Naturalists enters the battlefield, you may destroy target artifact or enchantment. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Thopter Engineer. It looks like something out of Star Wars or something. When Thopter Engineer enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one colorless Thopter artifact creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Artifact creatures you control have haste. They can attack and tap as soon as they come under. Yeah. Interesting. And finally, Molten Vortex. Discard a land card. Molten Vortex deals two damage to target creature or player. That's really cool. So you just have a bunch of red land, and then you just start burning it all. Nice. And dealing damage, of course. Right, a creature or player. That's oh, that is really nice. That is one nice card. All right. Back. So now I would have to do battle mode. Battle mode is where you can put decks to create, you create to test. Solo battle allows you to play against a wide variety of AI opponents. Great place to practice, learn new strategies, and try out new ideas. Versus battle allows you to play against other players, and it is the ultimate test of skill. In two-headed giants, team up with a friend to take on pairs of opponents. So you can do 2v2, that's cool. My decks is where you can create and edit decks. Let's try this now. Alright, I agree. Deck Wizard, step-by-step -step deck building assistant, total control for experienced players. Alright, I'm going to do Deck Wizard because I am bad at creating decks, especially in this game that I haven't played in like forever. What kind of deck would you like to create? Browse the available options, choose your favorite. So we have, uh, what is this, probably white, magical armor, best gear starting out, Horde's Thunder, which is, oh wait, it's uh, white and black, Horde's Thunder, which is red and green. More lands mean bigger creatures to smash your enemies with. What did this one say? Enhance your creatures to a class. Light blue, control sky. Aerial salts, uh, while ground creatures defend. White red, hit the ground running. Finish your opponents before they have a chance to set up defenses. I do like white red, that's pretty cool. It's like a rush deck. Turn your small creatures into deadly combatants. Your opponents won't know what to block. Uh, that's white and green, so. White and green's cool, because you just buff all the, the, the green stuff, and then green has a lot of bigger ones later on, too, doesn't it? Uh, summon a small army and use spells, protect it, and win. That's blue and green. Black and red. Turn the tables by stealing opposing creatures and using them against your foes. That's a cool one, black and red. Black and green. Assemble an overwhelming army of elves. Could go with the elvish army. <laughs> The evil, evil Elvish army. Uh, the right tools, blue and red. Artifacts are cards which don't require specific color to cast and often unique powerful effects. And blue and black. Reuse and recycle cards using the power of your graveyard. Alright, which one do I want to do? I want to do the rush deck, I think. The white and red. Although it is being like, you should try out these ones. These are pretty cool, but I don't wanna, I wanna do white and red. Although I think I used to play white and black a lot. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna do white and red. Welcome to the deck wizard. Welcome to the deck wizard where we'll help you build your own deck to build your own deck. Move a card from the top half of the screen to the bottom. Any suggested cards is a good fit for your decks. Pick that one, pick the one that you like best. Creatures and more creatures. Flood the battlefield with cheap creatures to deal a lot of damage early. Your opponent won't be able to block all of them. 
All right. So let's see what we got here. Cat Knight. I got the Acro and Sergeant. Uh, that's probably a good one for here. Let's see. What is this? When Kinsbale Skirmisher enters the battlefield, target creature gets 1 1 until end of the turn. That's good, because I can rush with that. Put him in. I remember this guy. When Perilous Mirror dies, he deals 2 damage to target creature or player. I like that. And he's a 1 1, though, so it's kind of like, yeah. Ember Hauler. Oh, wait, hold on. What if we bring that back? Is it going to bring back Ember Hauler? One, sacrifice Ember Hauler. Ember Hauler deals two damage to target creature or player. So I kind of like that more. I need a 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to do that. Take two Ember Haulers. What is this? Majoring Bully. Uh, I'll throw the Bully in. Goblin Arsonist. I remember this one too. When Goblin Arsonist dies, you may have it deal one damage to target creature or player. And I already have... Yeah, I can use more like one mana. Alright, let's do that. I can probably throw one of him in. Let's see. Hey, what's this mean? What's this thing mean? Oh, alright. So, should I put another Ember Hauler in? Let's put another Ember Hauler in. Well, actually, do I want... Do I even want this guy? Because I don't have any white. I don't have a lot of white. I'm going to take him out. i probably just put another Ember Hauler, honestly. What do we got here? Flaring. Flame Ken. As long as Flaring Flame Ken is enchanted, it gets 2-2, two, two, has Trample, and has Red Flaring Flame Ken gets 1-0 until the end of the turn. If you tap a mana for it. That is really good. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take two of them. <laughs> I'm gonna take three of them. Elite Vanguard. Nah, I don't want that. I can take another Arsonist. Take another Mirror. Take another Mirror. Should I take another Mirror? Why not? Oh my god. Should I just have like all four Mirrors? Sure. That's this guy. Whenever another red creature enters the battlefield under your control, Foundry Street Denizen gets 1 0 until the end of the turn. Uh, I already have, I have a lot of red creatures, right? Yeah, so might as well. Step complete. Team support. Such a large army. Spells that give all your creatures a boost become even better. So, <laughs> I only have like two spells. One, two, three, four. What's it even do? Enchant creature you control. Enchant creature gets 2-0. Tap red, sacrifice Inferno Fist, deals two damage to target creature or player. Alright. Fill your deck. You need a few more cards to complete your deck. Creatures are important. Most decks want to include 20, 30 creatures. Variety is good. You want creatures lower mana, cost to cast early, but also include a few high cost powerhouses, finish your opponent off. Removal is key. Select cards which remove your opponent's best threats and victory won't be far behind. Alright. So, I don't think I want a lot of white. Uh, well, actually, I probably should get, I probably should have gotten more white. I feel like I should go back now. Cause I'm just like full, full on red. All right, hold on, I'm gonna go back. All right, let's, let's see. I'm gonna take out, take out a couple things. Take out a mirror. Take out an Ember Hauler, a Flamekin, take out another Mirror, let's put a, put some Skirmishers in, and then Flying and Double Strike, yeah let's add one of those, let's add, hmm, uh, or it's one one, actually yeah I like the Skirmisher guys, I'm just gonna get a bunch of them, alright, that's uh two minutes only the turn. It's probably not a bad one to get. Let's just do that and then add in some tactics. Alright, we'll split it. 
Okay, now... Destroy target creature with power of four or greater. It can't be regenerated. It's probably good to have. Juggernaut attacks each turn if able. Juggernaut can't be blocked by walls. Interesting. This will take uh, Rizal. Dies, gain three life. That's pretty, I'll take that. Scrapyard Mongrel. As long as you control an artifact, Scrapyard Mongrel gets 2-0. That's Trample. Cost three, and then one red. Uh, he might be pretty good. What's this? Flying, first strike. Razorfoot Griffin's pretty good as well. Council's Lieutenant. That's the one I got earlier. Let's get that. Let's get, uh... So these are all four costs. I think I'll take a flying. And I'll take... I don't think I have enough artifacts for him to be, like, super useful. Well, uh, what's his name? Is the, like, mirrors are artifacts, now that I think about it. Alright, I'll take one. Maybe he'll be useful. I'll take a Juggernaut to help him out, too. Uh, light another Griffin. Uh, no, that's gross. Let's, let's go... Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I had another Mirror. Nah. I'll take Griffin. I'll take another Juggernaut. Reprisal. Destroy target creature with power 4 greater. Oh yeah, I already got one of those. Molten Vortex. Yeah, Molten Vortex. Let's take, uh... Take another Reprisal for, like, board control. Nimbus Wings, giant creature. It's 1-2 and it's flying. Ooh. Yes, please. In fact, I think I'm gonna take... two of those. Divine Favor. Battlefield gain 3 life. Creature gets 1-3. I'm gonna take that. Um... I really like that, the fact that these like people get flying, like so easy, it's only two mana. I'll take an, an elite vanguard, uh, I'll take a mirror again, why not, and then, let's take a, what was this again, control, it's 1-0 until the end of the turn, I'll take an arsonist, set complete. All right, and lands. These lands have been added to your deck. Ten white, eight red, and then oh god, <laughs> oh god, and then some red whites, red whites. Right, Central battlefield tapped. Unless you control a mountain or a plains, cliff drop retreat's pretty good. All right. Customize your deck. Choose an avatar background and name to represent your deck. Alright, what do I want? <laughs> That's a cool one. <laughs> Let's see, so we are white and red. That looks like Lady Gaga. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of options. I don't think there would be this many. It's still going. How many options are there? Alright, there it is. Let's see. I'm gonna pick the giant molten dude. I think it's fitting. Alright, and then... Let's see, where we have him standing behind. These are all green. All right, I'm just gonna put them behind. Uh, that blends in really well. It needs to be like in the open plains, you know. Did I pass up any like open plains? I probably did. Like the white plains, the green, 
Green Plains. I guess it could just be like this one. <laughs> Maybe this one. Maybe this one. That one probably fits the best. Which one's this one? Yeah, I like this one. All out assault. Uh, what should I name it? It needs a name. Let's call it a uh, chat. What do I call it? All right, no, <laughs> chat. I need a name. Come up with a name for me. Let's see. <laughs> Bob. Swag. Uh, <laughs> Ikea. <laughs> uh, swag out of salt. I do like swag out of salt. About swag Kia. Swag, Kia, Salt. Alright. Oh my god, I didn't spell a salt. Oh my god. Can I re... <laughs> can I rename it? Alright. <laughs> there we go. A lot of speed, some strength, not a lot of control, and two synergy. Okay. Wait, foil? All cards in this deck to foil versions for 125 coins. No, I do not need that. Uh, modify battle mode. Then put you go battle mode. I'll try solo battle first. Easy, medium, hard. Alright, so you gotta win to unlock each one. Oh yeah, I gotta hit continue. <laughs> I just like wait there. Dun dun -ch. Dun dun -ch. Mulligans. At the beginning of each game, you draw a hand of seven cards. If you don't like your opening hand, you may take a mulligan, shuffling your hand back into your library. Try another seven. Oh yeah, if you take a second mulligan, you'll draw one fewer card, so your hand will have six cards. Each subsequent mulligan, blah 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 blah. You can keep this hand or draw a new hand. Alright, so we have land, land, white, white, red. I do have a lot of white cards, but I do have two low costs. Uh, I think I'm fine with this. Two more, yeah, I think we'll be fine. I'll keep it. <laughs> they play a land. So what are they doing? They're doing blue and black. All right. All right. Let's play that one. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I probably should have gotten basic land. Then I could have played stuff. I didn't even think of that. Uh, exile an elf card from your graveyard. Guard vine breeder gets plus three plus three. Oh whoa! All right, there we go. I finally got one of those. And let's see, uh, mana tap. Because mana tap and button slave through available mana combinations. So let's play the mirror. All right. Whoa. Blue. Blood flow connoisseur. Sacrifice a creature, put a 1-1 one, one counter on blood flow connoisseur. So they sacrifice things and get stronger. Your turn. More red. Okay, so now we have four mana. 
We can do the Kimball Skirmisher. We could do... Well, I can't do that yet. Chant Creature Control gets 2-0. Uh, we got the Scrapyard Mongrel, but I don't really need to play that yet. Well, actually, I can't because he'd have 5 then, right? Yeah, I could play him. Hmm. You know what? Let's play him. Alright. So we got a 5-3 out there now. And I don't want to attack so I don't want to lose him. So I don't have any other artifacts to buff him up. Coral Merfolk. 2-1. And another Coral Merfolk. First strike. So what I think I'm going to do here. If he's control, get 2-1 until the end of the turn. Um, 1-1. One, one. So, I can give him... Uh... What do you call it? The 1-1, one, one, and then he'll be 6-4. And then... Let's see, they have 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one, so they would kill it still, right? 5... Let's see. Don't worry, I'm using strategy. He has Trample, though, so any damage I can, like, buff him up with. Like, if I give him... Skirmisher and the Inferno Fists, then he's gonna do what's that six, eight damage and then just like run over into them. That's two, two, alright. Choose a creature, get one, one. Uh, is it till the end of the turn? Yeah, it's till the end of the turn, so. Let's do that. And then. Enchant the. Or do I enchant him? I might as well enchant him and then attack with him too. I might as well just buff him up even more because he's got trample, so he's gonna do all that damage. Alright, let's do it. So that's 8 4. And then just attack the ball. What is it? When he dies, it deals. Okay, sweet. Confirm. Alright. Alright. So that does one damage. That does that. And then six damage to her. Okay, yeah. That worked out how I wanted. Dreg Reaver on our thirsty fourth day digging on Earth Chamber, blah blah blah. Just a 4 3. My turn. Nimbus Wings. It's 1 2 and has flying. Spirit Tiger Creature 4 power. Wait, that's him, right? I can kill him? Yeah, I can kill him. Get out of here! Swag money. Can't be regenerated. Nice. Okay. And then I'm going to buff up Skirmisher and give it flying. Oh uh, yeah. Can you imagine that little Skirmisher guy just flying? It's like, oh, got this. <laughs> uh, time it all. <laughs> and 
And they'll attack me. That's fine. I like the music they have in the background. It's very, like, chill, calming music. Aeronaut Tinker is flying as long as you control an artifact. Do they have an artifact? Creature. No, they don't have an artifact. We get another land. And we have four mana. So I can give two one. Or we're gonna play another flying. Mm. There are two more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard. This card's also getting vigilance to lend. I'm going to play Kyrian's Tactics. Alright, that's the right play, right? And then we got 5 3. And we just attack with all. Confirm attack. So now. We take 5 from that down to 4. And wait, oh, they block that? Wait, what? I don't actually know what they did. They blocked it though? I don't even know. I'm not, <laughs> I am not sure what just happened. That's all right. Cause I think we're still gonna win. Take three damage. Exile a card. Oh, they blocked, but then he sacrificed the blocker. I see. I see what you mean. Yeah, the tinker block. Okay. Uh, all right, Griffin. Oh, Griffin. And it's the tactical. I think I win then. That's three. Alright. I just want him to die. <laughs> I just want him to die so I can do the two damage. That's alright, because they can't block next turn. So I win anyway. Uh, I could block with the griffin. Should I? Should I? Could I with a boat? I guess I don't even have to, because they're just going to do five damage. And I can just win the game by attacking with both of them, because they can't block both the flying. Ow. Yeah, you did the sacrifice thing again, which is smart. So I'm down to five. Doesn't matter because we're going to win. Go, Mountain. Go, Griffin. And then, attack with everyone. <laughs> Yeah. We win. Victory. Congratulations. You've constructed your own deck, taken on Power for Planeswalker, and unlocked every play mode. If you need more help, help and options. New quests are given out every day. They're a great way to try new things, earn coins, improve your collection. So there are quests given out every day. So you can get 40 coins uh, as a community. Play a giant amount of land cards in multiplayer duels. Wait, as a community? So are there, there's community quests so that if everybody in the game does that thing, you get coins. That's kind of cool. So you just get 40 free coins as long as everybody does it. Archetype, Paragon, win four duels with a blue and red or green and blue archetype deck. Archetype, archetype, oh no. Win four duels with white and black or black and green. Uh, an empty quest slot. Come back tomorrow, receive a new quest. Alright. Uh, let's see. Story mode, battle mode. 
final challenge, Planeswalkers. Learn to wield the power of a Planeswalker Pesca challenge. Prepare yourself for battle mode where you can create your own decks to take on other Planeswalkers. I already did that. I guess it's just a skill quest. Alright. Solo battle. I unlock the medium. I'll do medium. And then... We'll see. Then hard's plus 15... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try medium. See how well I do at that. Then after that, I'll probably be done for now. Because I am very hungry. I haven't eaten yet today. And I'm gonna get some food. Alright. Alright, now I have lands and I have a lot of no creatures, so let's draw a new hand. And now I have no mana. <laughs> uh, that's really bad. I gotta draw another one. There we go. Either way, I'm keeping this one. Whoa, what did they just play? Oh, it's just black or red. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Our turn. Alright, so we want to play white or red. Yes, it doesn't matter because we play mirror. Nimbus swings, play white. I guess I could have played this one just because it would have been tapped and I had nothing I could play anyway. Alright, now I'll play red and play mirror. Sergeant for Strike and Renown. Alright, so we have Divine Favor. I gain three life, Chan Creature gets one three, so give him two four. Should be pretty nice. Might do that. Oh, yeah, I can play the man anyway. Alright, let's divine favor. Then the mirror shall become strong. Attack. Bang! Taking damage. First strike. Two damage. My turn. If you want to know where you can get it on the app store, uh, you can type into the chat exclamation point magic and Moobot will pop up with the link to the download page. It will also be out on Steam in the near future. Uh, so that's also a thing. Let's see. Do I want to play Nimbus Wings? I think it'd be 3 6. I don't really have anything else to do here. So, I mean, why not? Let's pump this mirror up, dude. Ember Ma Helion Trample. 
another red source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player. It deals that much damage plus one to the permanent or player instead. Oh damn, that's pretty strong. I need that card that kills four powers. And he will hit me and do damage. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. I should probably play. Should I play a Griffin? Should I play the Mongrel? Oh yeah, definitely a Mongrel. He's out of the. Okay, so that's five three now. Back with all. They're down to 12. Gain control of a target creature until end of the turn. Untap that creature until end of the turn. It gets 2-0 and gains haste. Oh my god, that is... Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Alright, that's... Oh. Okay. Uh... Ooh. I guess we'll... Necron Sergeant is first strike though, right? Ooh, so I'm just gonna skip blocking. Ow. 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 Okay. I have my guy back. Thank you. Uh, this is, this is bad. This is extremely, this is... Okay, this is, yeah, let's just play that, because we're going to die. <laughs> uh, is this fire impulse deals two damage to target creature? If there are two more instant resource cards, the graveyard fire impulse deals three damage to creature instead. Uh, all right. Well, I have lost. <laughs> I have lost quite badly. And, you know... I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna let it. I'm gonna let it happen. Then again, wait. I could save him and then block the four or five, right? So otherwise, I'm just gonna die. So might as well skip the attack. Yeah, I should have blocked. Should have blocked the four or five with the thing. Chant creature. Creature is two one and has haste. All right. Well, we lost. <laughs> oh well. Mm. Well, we are going to die. I will. I will block uh, him, and then we'll die. Oh well. <laughs> Damage. Ow. Oh wait, I can. Uh, I can do two damage. Take that, person. Got him down to ten. And we're dead. All right. Well, uh, probably gonna have to work out the kinks of that deck. Or I, you know, didn't get some good draws there. That sounds good. Yeah, it wasn't my fault. I didn't get uh, didn't get any good draws. <laughs> yeah, you know. All right. Either way, uh, that was really fun. I enjoyed playing that. I'll probably I'll probably uh, play it again uh, sometime in the next week or so. And, uh, yeah, again, if you want to see it, you can type into the chat at the exc exclamation point magic, and it'll show you the link to get it at the app store. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for watching, and to all you magic people out there, uh, good luck on the, the magic battlefield or whatever, to the, the board, the, the the arena. I don't know. I don't know what it's, what it's called. I guess it would be the board, the battlefield. It's all the same. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I need food really badly. <laughs> okay. See you later. See you.